children in today's class we are going to learn about how to solve ordinary differential equations of homogeneous type homogeneous have you heard this word before yes we have learned homogeneous type in matrices also in calculus under euler's theorem euler defines suppose there is a function f in terms of x and y now wherever x comes i put tx wherever y comes i put ty now t power n comes out as common i can declare f is homogeneous of degree n in x and y this n could be any real number now how are we to relate here now let us look at an example suppose i have f of x y x power 3 plus 3x square y plus y cube this i will declare a homogeneous type of what degree x power 3 here i have x square the degree is 2 y the degree is 1 together 2 plus 1 3 why do i add whenever i multiply i need to add the degrees the third term also degree is 3 whenever every term is of degree 3 and it is not of quotient type i can immediately declare it is homogeneous of degree 3 but when it is of this pattern here the degree is 2 here the degree is 2 here it is 1 plus 1 together it is 2 but when i put tx and ty from numerator t square will come out from denominator also t square will come out so t power 2 minus 2 will give rise to a homogeneous type of degree 0 in such cases how to solve the differential equation wherever y comes i can put vx if i put vx immediately i must differentiate because it is a substitution y becomes dy by dx the rhs i have two terms in product keep the first term save v x becomes 1 plus keep the second term x v becomes dv by dx keep the first term v x becomes 1 plus keep the second term x v becomes dv by dx once i know y and dy by dx replace y and dy by dx in the given equation this will reduce to an equation containing v and x but now it will be an easy format of the previous exercise what did we learn variable separable now what are the variables already x was there the new variable i introduced is v question was in y and x but we have changed as x and v so this will reduce to variable separable type in x and v so i can easily solve how we have done in the previous exercise once i solve that is not my answer wherever v comes let us replace y by x because v we only introduced so we should not come in my final answer wherever v comes replace y by x a simple pattern of doing problems suppose you have a problem like this my very first idea rewrite the equation how do i rewrite the very first term x cube plus y cube the whole thing into dy equals this minus term goes to the right as x square y dx my next step bring dx down bring this term down here so still i can rewrite it dy by dx is x square y by x cube plus y cube check out for the power the numerator it is 2 plus 1 3 the denominator 3 here also 3 so the degree all together when i say t 
T power 3 will come. T power 3 will come again. It reduces to homogeneous type of degree 0 in X and Y. So, my very first idea. Rewrite the given problem in dy by dx equal to f of x comma y pattern. Check for the degree. Ultimately, the degree should be 0. So that I can proceed wherever y comes, I can put vx. Find out dy by dx. Put it back in the question. It reduces to variable separable type in v and x. After I solve by using the various methods of integration, replace V as Y by X. Is this the only pattern? No. I can also do wherever X comes as V, Y. Here we substituted Y as V, X. I can very well substitute X is equal to V, Y. In that case, I will find out DX by DY. Depending on the question, look out for the comfort. Whether assuming y is easy or assuming x is easy and proceed accordingly. Now let us see exercise problems to understand better. Exercise 10.6 question number 1. Solve x plus y cos y by x dx equals x cos y by x dy. Our very first idea let us try to rewrite the equation as dy by dx. So, I bring dx down, I bring this here, x plus y cos y by x divided by x cos y by x. As I check, the degree is 1, 1, 1. If I put ty, tx, this automatically gets cancelled. Our degree is 0. So, this is homogeneous type. Put y equals vx. Whenever I substitute for y, let us differentiate. So, dy by dx is vx becomes 1 plus x, v becomes dv by dx. Put it back in the question. Call it as number 1. So, 1 implies wherever dy by dx comes, v plus x dv by dx. RHS x as it is wherever y comes vx cos y is vx by x divided by x as it is cos y is vx by x as we simplify v plus x dv by dx equals in the numerator x is common 1 plus v cos v divided by in the denominator it is x cos vx by x is v x and x we can cancel bring v to the right it is x dv by dx equals 1 plus v cos v by cos v minus v taking lcm in the rhs it is cos v in the denominator numerator 1 plus v cos v minus v cos v v cos v v cos v cancels we are left with x dv by dx is 1 by cos v separating the variables and then integrating we get cos v dv is dx by x as we integrate cos v integral is sin v dx by x becomes log x whenever i put log remember i must put modulus so dx by x integral is log x plus let us introduce constant also as log wherever y comes let us put y by x in this equation too sin y by x equals log cx and that is the solution. Question number 5. Solve y square minus 2xy dx equals x square minus 2xy dy. To rewrite in dy by dx pattern bring dx down. It is dy by dx equals y square minus 2xy divided by 
x square minus 2xy. Check for the degree 2. xy tells me 1 plus 1, 2. Here 2, 1 plus 1, 2. Numerator degree 2, denominator degree 2. As I divide, the degree becomes 0. It reduces to homogeneous type of differential equation. Put y equals vx. dy by dx becomes v plus x dv by dx. Substituting this in equation 1, we get v plus x dv by dx equals wherever y comes vx y square becomes v square x square minus 2x y is vx divided by x square minus 2x vx as we take x square common out in the numerator as well as denominator we are left with v square minus 2v divided by x square into 1 minus 2v. x square x square cancels. As we bring v to the other side, x dv by dx equals v square minus 2v by 1 minus 2v minus v. Taking LCM in the RHS, it is 1 minus 2v. V square minus 2V, 1 into minus V, minus into minus 2V into V. I reduce this as 3V square minus 3V by 1 minus 2V. Taking 3 out as common, we get 3DV by DX equals 3 into V square minus V by. Taking minus symbol out, it is 2v minus 1. Now separating the variables and then integrating. I have dv. So all the v terms must go to the left. Keep this minus 3 in the RHS itself. 2v minus 1 divided by v square minus v. RHS x by dx goes as dx by x. Check whether every term we have rewritten properly. Minus 3 I retain in the right. x by dx will go as dx by x. These terms will go here as reciprocal. Now LHS denominator derivative in the numerator. Check it v square derivative 2v v derivative 1. Whenever I have f dash of x by f of x type. My answer is log f of x. Applying this formula for LHS, I get log of denominator. What is the denominator? v square minus v. RHS dx by x becomes log x plus Everything is in log. So, let us introduce constant also as log. Once I have completed, wherever V comes, let us substitute Y by X. So, it is Y square by X square minus Y by X equals log X power minus 3 plus log C. The next step, I can take LCM. Log y square minus xy divided by x square equals log of it is plus symbol so we need to multiply in logarithm single log single log as i raise to e power will get cancelled i am just left with y square minus xy by x square equals c x power minus 3 will come down as x power 3 I can cancel x square and x cube here. Cross multiplying. We get the required answer x into y square minus xy equals to c. Or we can say x into y square minus x into x. x square y equals to c which is the solution for the differential equation. Question number 6, x dy by dx equals y minus x cos square y by x. 
rewriting the equation i get dy by dx is y by x minus x by x cos square y by x call this equation as number one check for the degree y by x degree zero here also y by x degree zero so it is homogeneous type of differential equation put y equals vx differentiating y becomes dy by dx vx it is in product keep v x becomes one plus keep x v becomes dv by dx now equation one will reduce as v plus x dv by dx in the place of dy by dx substitute this equals y becomes vx by x minus cos square again y becomes vx by x as we simplify x and x cancels bringing v to the right side x dv by dx equals v minus cos square v minus v v and v cancels we separate the variables and then integrate x by dx will go to the right side as minus dx by x dv divided by cos square v there is a minus symbol which is retained in rhs as i integrate 1 by cos square I rewrite as secant square V dv minus integral dx by x. Secant square V as I integrate it is tan V minus dx by x I can write log x plus log c. Remember whenever I put log I must put within modulus. Log is not defined for negative values. What is the next step? I can still simplify this as log of c by x. Remember, in logarithm, plus comes in numerator, minus comes in denominator, and LHS. Wherever v comes, I can put y by x. To remove logarithm, let us raise to the power of e. e power tan y by x equals e power log c by x e and log will get cancel cross multiplying x e power tan y by x equals to c and that is the solution question number seven one plus three into e power y by x dy plus three e power y by x into one minus y by x dx equals zero as I look at the problem, there are two terms. Keep one term to the right. Bring dx down and rewrite the problem. dy by dx is minus 3 e power y by x 1 minus y by x divided by 1 plus 3 e power y by x. Check out for the degree y by x degree 0. Here also y by x. Here also y by x. It is of degree 0, so this I can declare is homogeneous. Put y equals to vx, dy by dx equals v plus x dv by dx. Try it yourself. As I substitute in dy by dx, we simplify. Bring plus v to the other side. Separate the variables and then integrating, we simplify the problem as log of v plus 3 e power v equals minus log x plus log c apply logarithm rule and v equal to y by x is the answer over no they have given some conditions to find out c given y is 0 when x is 1 as i substitute y value 0 x value 1 e power 0 by 1 equals c e power 0 is 1 1 into 1 into 3 is 3. So, I get C equals 3. Put the C value back in this equation. Say 2. So, 2 gives us the answer. Y plus 3 X E power Y by X equals to 3. And that is the solution.